What you see over here is uh, the United States' very first full-size humanoid robot called Charlie. Charlie stands for Cognitive Humanoid Autonomous Robot with Learning Intelligence. Uh, it's a collaboration between our undergraduate students and graduate students. So as you can see over here, humanoid robot meaning it has a leg, two legs, two arms, body, and a head. Um, it walks autonomously with two legs. It's uh, again, United States' very first uh, uh, humanoid robot. First of all, why we study human robots is because, number one, we want to learn more about us humans. For example, if you want to design uh, prostheses, we need to understand how humans walk. And the best way to understand how humans walk is to build a humanoid robot and try to make it walk. That way you understand the mechanics, thus you can uh, develop those kind of new type of prostheses. Another side is the ultimate, you know, the Jetsons uh, goal of having a human servant. For robots to work together with humans and serve humans, the ro robot needs to uh, live together in a human environment, uh, uh, environment developed for humans. So uh, unless it has the human form and legs like a human being, uh, it won't be able to negotiate stairs and use all the tools developed for humans. So thus, uh, we're trying to make a humanoid robot. So how do you think we should improve the uh, Charlie H leg? This is our, our new leg uh, we're developing for Charlie Heavy, which is the next generation version of Charlie Light. And so what we're studying here, we're interested in how robots, what robots can teach us about uh, bipedal walking, in other words, how humans walk. So we've got a couple interesting features on this leg that enable us to do that. And for one is uh, we've, we've developed these linear actuators that work uh, very similar to a human muscle. So instead of using uh, like normal actuators that robotics use, uh, being, which normally just rotate, these actually extend and retract, just like a human muscle. And we've also added compliance. So basically, we have flexible members, just like a human tendon. Oh, I, know, I actually know a bent. What did? This, oh. uh, this bracket right here. Yeah. Uh. Wow, the whole head's falling apart. A little bit. And he's here. Can we power the legs? No, I'll hold it. I got it. Walking with two legs is very, very tricky to implement, but we're the very first to uh, implement that uh, in this kind of scale, so it's very impressive. 